Hello, I'm Stephen Lee Mason and welcome to lovely New Zealand. Now this is a four part unboxing video about what I've bought in New Zealand. I was just outside that I'm going to cut to you right now. Whew. You really do an unboxing with this behind us but with shadows and stuff it's like well you know it's not going to happen. It's just far too hot out there and like the background I don't want to be like hey look at this and it's just a shadow. I'm just a shadow, an outline. I've already had a disastrous morning. If you're watching the vlog series, I broke the other camera falling down the hill. I've actually cracked my phone screen on my phone. Like literally today, I was like, right, I'm packing because tomorrow I leave for Auckland and then back to an 18 hour flight to the UK. That's the bye, then there's another eight hours after that. You know what I mean? It's gonna be, it's gonna be hectic. Do you know what I mean? It will be hectic. Now it's Coco, it's about, hello Coco. Keep on walking by, anyway. Whew. So yeah, today I was meant to just stay in the house and just chill out and you know, I'm painting a post box and I was just, right, I've got all these piles ready, break the camera and all that, and like I've traveled all over the world and I fell down, it absolutely knocked me leg, smashed me camera and cracked me phone. Golf clap. So there's gonna be four unboxings because I've separated. Now the basic line is, shit's gotta get sent back, some stuff won't be getting back. For the last three weeks, I've been going, look at that, get And then realizing, hmm, we've got 25 kilos back to the UK. I'm going to start with the posters. Yeah, posters. So basically, I picked up a few different posters. I bought this one yesterday for 25 cents. Um, that's a great idea. I did it against this wall because I was going to move it around. So the Lincoln Lawyer, um, might stay up there. Lincoln Lawyer, it's an old battered poster, Matthew McConaughey, not guilty. I watched this literally three or four days before I came to New Zealand. Uh, but when on Blu-ray, um, it's Matthew McConaughey basically taking any job and he, you know, his, his marriage is over. He's looking after his little girl and it's like one of those ones where it's a red heron. Did he really do it? Did he not do it? He's protecting the innocent. Is this guy a ruthless bastard and all that? Ryan Phillips is in it as well. He, you know, it was a good movie. Yeah, I enjoyed it. And then just to find the poster for 25 cents. But you know why? No, why not? Because the the last poster is probably the buy of New Zealand. But then yesterday I was in the recycling centre. What much Waker and Nelson have got is a recycling centre. Boot sales are a once a month kind of thing. But basically, these these two centres where you go in and one's a showroom. Again, watch the vlog series of New Zealand, and then you go into the the back and it's you're scrapping through stuff. And you go up and they're just there's no prices or anything you just rock and roll so basically i said to this guy says i like these frames how much for them and he said twelve dollars six pound three pound frame i think yeah, because both of them have film posters in so first up we have got da, 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 now i'm leaving these poster frames for my brother calm um they're banging frames and uh, hard on the sea i absolutely love the cover of that um as i say you got moby dick down there Massive whale, um, a stun. It's a shame that we got the floating hen syndrome of uh, Chris Hemsworth and Killian Murphy. It's just uh, Tom Holland's in it. I've only seen it the once. It was pretty epic. But um, yeah, we get the floating hen syndrome and I think that's absolutely amazing. Now in the outtakes, these will be deframed. So there could be some gems in the outtakes. The other one is a bit of a, I think it's a New Zealand film. Again, it's housebound. Now this is like a uh, drone. Now Housebound is coming in cinemas. Both these are lit in cinemas. Yeah, number 14. It's been cracked as well. Like day of cracks. Um, again, endorsed by Peter Jackson, who is literally royal gold in New Zealand. Uh, again, check out the vlog series. We were at Weta. Look at a picture of King Kong. Nothing for sale. Um, but yeah, again, I'm going to crack these two out the frames. I mean, one of them is a little dodgy there, down there. Cracked, but... It doesn't even look like it's had the cellophane off, so that's the outtake. So they were goodbye. It was yesterday. Now, when I was in Welton with my two brothers, Sam and Callum, and Brittany, um, we came across um, a comic book shop and came in. And it was pretty awesome. They had the Jaws, uh, McFarlane, still in this box, $500. Uh, it's £250 in England. Had been pretty sunbleached, but the two guys were pretty awesome. I was wearing my John Carpenter thing. Jumpman only asked about that, it's pretty cool. And at the back of the shop, they had some like uh, the Sin City big box stuff, and I quite like them as well. And I was just like, oh yeah, they've got some posters flicked through Batman Returns, The Crow, 
I think these are cool. And then I realized they are original. Again, the prices of them. And I flicked through a couple of times and I've seen this poster and I was like, in Brittany, you know, meant to be like, oh, you know, like we're saving, we're traveling, we've got a house when I get home and stuff. Just keep buying it. <laughs> no hesitation. I'll just buy it. I'm like, what, you know, like, what about saving money? Just keep, just buy it. So I was like, right, okay. So I bought it and it was in like, a Matt Davies, like, kind of like, you know, the old poster racks. And it slid down and had a big crease in it. And I, the, the guy says, you know, it says on the stick, ask for assistance. And it was meant to be like $35. And I came over and I started talking to the two guys. And they let us have it for 26 because of the crease. So, yes, this is an original American poster. Um, which Hurricane Rain will be framing when I get home. And it is John Carpenter's a Vinyls Jack Crow. Um, Prayer for the Dawn. I, I love the colours on this. Again, it's quite a big poster. Needs framing. Um, I'm hoping for John Carpenter for Huracan. Maybe it's next year, not this year, but really cool. Um, I would say it's from about 1998, 98 or something like that. John Carpenter takes on the vampires. Good movie. Um, one of the nights and before I came to New Zealand and the double bill, um, I've got the, the Blu-ray, what uh, Indicator label brought out and um, it's got Ghosts of Mars and Vampires on it. But yeah, it would be pretty cool uh, framed up. Um, while I've been away though, before going to the outtakes, um, I've actually bought two posters on eBay. One was early on and has actually nearly been delivered. So hopefully, um, well, it'll be a separate video. But uh, one is the Gremlins Christmas poster. Well, let's see the Gremlins at Christmas. One is that quad poster. Finally seen a bit cheap. And then yesterday, I was looking at stuff and I actually bought a few things on eBay on the ferry between Welton and uh, Nelson. Uh, or Picton, if you want to be geographically correct. And I put a bid on it. And then I actually found something else I was after for a long time, which is definitely check out Retro VHS. And it's a Corey Haim, Corey Feldman. Uh, National Lampoon's Last Resort, which is the American New Zealand title of the movie, which is called Scuba School in Britain. And it's the coming soon poster, which, you know, the film is disastrous. But this is like, buy this film, rent this film, you've got a chance to win a holiday poster. So it might come and it might be about that big, but I'm hoping it's a, like, you know, like a video shop poster. So yeah, see you in the outtakes. Okay, first outtake, housebound poster out. Um, it's been really nice preserved that. Um, restricted at 13, age rating stickers on top, scan for the trailer. I wish they would do more stuff. I wish they would do that on, um, before you buy them, people can just go on YouTube or whatever, but you know, you're walking around a video shop and you scan the code. Oh, that looks pretty good. Yep, yeah, someone else can steal that idea. <laughs> around the back. Um, nothing on it, but someone, I mean, it's mental. There's a lot of student life um, around here. Well, people going around, that fly better fuck off. Get off the camera, hey! Fucking candy man, piss off. That's bees in there, there's plenty of fucking bees out there as well. But yeah, I'll see you in the next bit for uh, Obi Dick. I was about to say there's two posters in here, but this one actually still has the back and things, so. Yeah, Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's got two posters in it. Living in Core poster frames, what originally they were called. Excellent. And, well, this is an original cinema poster, yeah, because it's on both sides. Look at that. So, obviously, this one's done for rejecting light um, through cinema posters. Doesn't look like it's been cut down or anywhere, shape, or form, but yeah, you would whack that on and get some light through it. So, it is an original cinema poster from New Zealand. Uh, heart of the Sea. You see a lot of them like that. Heart of the Sea there. But again in Britain you get Chris Helmsworth's floating head syndrome. You know, but that is an absolutely gorgeous poster. And that has gone back in the UK. So this is the unboxing part one. Um, it's been broken into DVDs, Blu-rays, VHS, and then there's some random book stuff. So yeah, there might be actually five. But yeah, see you in the next chapters. Thanks for watching, like this channel. And by the time you see all this, I should be back in the UK. And now, the end is here.